In this overview, we're going to talk about node editing basics. So, first, let's talk about a node. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to type out a, let's do a C on my workspace here, and I'll change the size of that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert that into curves. So, this is now just an object. This is no longer a C, but this is just a graphic shape. Now, I'm going to go to the wireframe view, and notice when we zoom in here, notice that really each major sort of intersection, we have a what's called a node. So I'm now hovering my mouse over those intersections and it says node. So really think of a node as just connecting two lines in space. That's all a node does. But it also is sort of an anchor and a control point for the design. So the way you're going to edit nodes and make changes is by using the shape tool. So right beneath the pick tool, we can activate the shape tool and that will allow us to really command and control all of these nodes. So you can see now when I click on a node it indicates in blue. Uh, one of the important things I want to point out is you can actually select more than one node at a time. So I'm going to marquee select, or I'm going to treat this shape tool as a lasso, and I'm going to go and select those two nodes at the uh, precipice of the C, and I can control those in tandem. So you see how I have full control over those? So um, I can extend the C and uh, make a change there. Now we can also control uh, the curvature. So if you click on a node that happens to be a control point for a uh, curve, notice I can click on a little handlebar here and I can control the, uh, the angle and, and really the, the arc of the, uh, the curve. So pretty important uh, to make some adjustments to a design if that's relative by using nodes. I also want to point out that you have the ability to insert a node and to delete a node. So oftentimes, especially in uh, the logo cleanup process, if you're using Corel Trace, you might have to anchor a node into a specific place to control it, or you may choose to delete nodes because they're interfering with a curve or a portion of your design. So uh, deleting is as simple as selecting the node and hitting delete on your workspace, and that node will disappear. So of course I can zoom in here and delete a node. Or I can double click anywhere on a path to insert a node. Um, now this is important for a few reasons. Let's go back to the precipice of this C here and I'm going to go ahead and select those two nodes at the very top. Now what I can do when I select more than two nodes is we have all of these options here as you can see where my mouse is now hovering. So you may choose to, to convert a, a curve, two nodes that form a curve. Maybe you want those to be in a straight line or maybe you want to convert to a curve. So you're, you're taking two nodes that would make up a straight line and you want to convert that into a curve because you want to give it an arch or modify it in, in some capacity. So this is when nodes uh, become, become important and uh, having some basic skill sets to adjust nodes and make small changes uh, in order to get your design to cooperate.